<coughs> so today is I don't know I guess it's been a slightly better day although I can't really comment on much of the day because it's only about 10 to 1 right now but I think the good thing is that I got up early this morning not by choice I got woken up um, about 8 in the morning and then I fell back to sleep until about half 9 um, and then about half 9 this morning I got up out of bed and I've been up ever since um, I just had some lunch had a little bit of tuna and some chips which was alright, it was nice um, so now I had myself a shower people have been complimenting my hair even though it's pretty wacko wild and untamed but it's kind of cool I guess um, yeah like last night I was getting quite a lot of abusive comments and stuff on uh, some of my YouTube videos from just fucking invalid trolls that really don't know me, my background, my story, that they've just seen one video and come to their own, jump to their own conclusions straight away on my whole persona just by watching one video um, and in which that one I was screaming and crying out um, in a really, really emotional uh, state and I wasn't very well, like I couldn't, I had no boundaries, I was sat on the toilet absolutely screaming in, in agony and, and pain and then I sliced myself up again, um, which wasn't the best idea, wasn't the best thing to do, but I had a blade and I felt like I, I needed to draw some blood, I needed to um, feel that burn on my skin because the burn inside of me was so fucking strong and severe, um, I needed to release that somehow. Um, I mean today, so far like, I don't know, um, it's kind of long, it's a quiet day today, there's not very many people on the ward at the moment, um, I just feel, I don't know, I feel slightly better today I would say than I have done. Um, but it's just fucking people, isn't it, that just can just set you off on that triggering spiral. And um, people that, you know, that don't have a clue about you, your illness, and then they're, they're so quick to judge you and throw all these fucking negative remarks about you around and they don't understand that you're going through such a hard time and every little word, you know, no matter how big, how small, is going to hit like a ton of bricks because I'm really, really sensitive right now and if you suffer with BPD then you know about emotions and how much they can be torture and how much words and things that people say to you really can affect your mood um, and trigger you just instantaneously from being okay one minute to the next minute flitting out, you know, I don't know what to do, uh, help me. Um, so a word of advice, a word of warning for the trolls, just leave people the fuck alone, man. If you've got nothing nice to say on a comment, if you don't wish somebody well when you can quite clearly see them falling at their fucking knees at their worst, you know, if you don't wish that person well, all you want to do is troll them and, and just make negative remarks, then fuck off, quite frankly. Just don't bother, you know, because quite honestly... 
them them triggering remarks and stuff that could you could be the trigger to somebody's suicide you know you really don't understand how much words can really affect and torment people in a you know not very well state at the time and um you know like if I wasn't safe on a ward I mean last night all the abuse and shit that I was getting I don't know what would have happened I probably would have attempted suicide um, whether or not I would have been successful who knows I couldn't tell you because I'm sat here talking to you guys now it hasn't happened it's hypothetical but I'm just telling you that watch 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 what you fucking say man you know, don't jump the gun, don't judge somebody that you don't know, and at least have a look round on my channel, you know, and see my previous videos to see that actually I have sought help in other various forms, but the help that I've received has not been, you know, it's not, it's not ever worked for me, or it's not been substantial enough, or it's not gone on for long enough, it's just sort of been... A one week therapy thing and then you're left in the lurch in the bin again you know go on left to your own devices go and fuck yourself up some more so it's not that I haven't been looking for help you know I have been looking for help I'm screaming out for help um, hopefully now I, I will get the help I need um, but who knows, who can say, because ultimately it's down to me, there's only so much that some, that any one person can do for somebody other, you can lead, <clears throat> that famous saying, you can lead a horse to the water but you can't make it drink, and that is so true, if you're not in the right headspace to take somebody's advice, or you know coping skills or something like that then you're not going to go through with it you're not going to be there you're not going to be there present you're not going to be able to use that um them set of skills in in your daily life because you're not you know you're not fully there yourself you're not actively wanting the help per se or maybe you are wanting the help but you're not um committing yourself completely to that help um, that's being offered or received so yeah just just a little one on that really I'm gonna cut it short it's nearly eight minutes long it's gonna take forever to fucking upload um, so yeah basically and on that note peace and love I feel slightly better today and I hope that you guys do too um, and you know what, fuck the haters, as one of the nurses said to me today, she turned around and she said, tell them fuck off, in plain and simple words, fuck off, I'm still standing, you know, she said these people are jealous, narrow-minded fucks, um, and actually, you know what, <sighs> I completely agree, <laughs> peace and love, I will get better, I will get well, and you will see me soon, bye.